Hey guys and welcome back to Mzanzi Sobi Ketchup. If you're new here, please make sure to like, share and subscribe to know every time we post a new update. Friday, 1 September. Jackson asks Mandla to blow up the pump house for him and the freaked out Mandla contemplates Jackson's request. Monday, 4 September. Dudu wants Magolide for herself and he is on tenterhooks as Dudu befriends Mamiki to the point of supporting her in her entrepreneurial endeavor. Tuesday, 5 September, after seeing Toliswa at the salon, Tandiswa tells Nomeva she must finally act or face her sister's wrath. Wednesday, 6 September, Jackson has to process Caesar's threat while dealing with expectations from someone who recently helped him out. Thursday, 7 September, anger is growing about the renewed water crisis and Jackson is trying to ignore it, while Mteto tells Jackson he needs to sort it out. Friday, 8 September, Mamiki pays a heavy price for choosing Magolide over the promise of a lucrative business venture. Monday, 11 September, Caesar and Jackson circle each other like rival cocks while Leroy reveals Jackson did something to the water supply and Sakile agrees to represent the people. Tuesday, 12 September, Mamiki convinces herself she made the right choice to dump Magolide while Magolide sleeps with Dudu to take his mind off Mamiki. Wednesday, 13 September, after seeing Jackson vulnerable, Tandiswa tells Numeva she is ready to complete the mission that brought her to Emnyameni. Thursday, 14 September, Sakile braves Caesar's office and requests his assistance in exposing the water sabotage. Friday, 15 September, Ntabiseng's anxiety about Sakile's involvement are proved to be justified when a furious Jackson arrives at the house and threatens Sakile. Monday, 18 September, Caesar realizes he has to intercept the potentially disastrous standoff between the community and their floundering mayor, and the only way Caesar reckons is through Jackson's skull. Tuesday, 19 September, Jackson is busy micromanaging the preparations for their town hall meeting, while Martha tells Mteto they are ready. Wednesday, 20 September, Jackson gets shot. Could it be Caesar's headman Swacha, or Amos who hides the gun in a hotel room, or Tandiswa who returns home traumatized? Thursday, 21 September, Caesar is shocked to learn Jackson survived and that Swacha didn't shoot him, while Tandiswa grapples with guilt and also the fact that she lost the gun used to shoot Jackson. Friday, 22 September, all fingers point to Sakile for a crime he didn't commit, and there's something shady going on with the hotel leftovers, while a helpless Magolide experiences loss in all aspects of his life. Monday, 25 September, Sakile is Mteto's prime suspect as Jackson's shooter, while Tabiseng saw Tandi fired the gun and thinks Sakile may have been involved. Tuesday, 26 September, Mteto has to catch Amos, the alleged assassin, casting strong suspicion in Jackson's murder case. Wednesday, 27 September, Mamiki is arrested for assaulting Dudu, while Leroy and Petunia are outraged by Mamiki's arrest and blame Magolide. Thursday, 28 September, Leroy appeals in vain to Mteto to set Mamiki free, while Magolide is prepared to reunite with Dudu if she drops the charges. Friday, 29 September, Mamiki is shocked to learn what Magolide did to get Dudu to drop the charges, while Magolide finally takes a stand against Dudu. As always, please don't forget to like, share and subscribe to know every time we post a new update.